wildebeest is the most common animal that can be encountered in Tanzania. These animals, weighing between 150 and 300 kilograms, are a delicious meal for predators. These wildebeests, who migrate once or twice a year due to drought, encounter many different dangers in nature. In Africa, wildebeest rank at the top of preferred prey, accounting for nearly half of the lion prey in the Serengeti followed by zebra. Since lions are strongly territorial the wildebeest herds will only have to contend with a single pride as they migrate through any one area, so once the pride has killed, the herd should have a break until it crosses into the next pride's territory. These animals, which travel in large flocks in places such as Serengeti and Maasai Mara, are also very successful in terms of defense. It can repel opponents with its horns and strong feet. It is a creature that does not give up easily even in a lion attack. A wildebeest's muscles are two and a half times more powerful than a car engine. It is the secret to its epic annual trek when around 1.5 million of them migrate across Africa in search of grazing in water. Wildebeest can travel up to 50 miles over five days without drinking. A human can die in three days without water. The wildebeest converts two until thirds of energy into work and waste only a third as heat. That is substantially more efficient than both comparably sized animals such as cows and small creatures like rabbits. And it's all down to the wildebeest's remarkable muscles that prevent it overheating. Major predators that feed on wildebeest include the lion, hyena, African wild dog, cheetah, leopard, and crocodile, which seem to favor the wildebeest over other prey. It is important to be strong to win a war. Wildebeest are very strong and can inflict landlord injury even to a lion. The African buffalo, also known as the Cape buffalo, is a large African bovine native to sub-Saharan Africa. African buffaloes are not related to domestic cattle and are only distantly related to other larger bovines. Unlike its Asian equivalent, the water buffalo, the African buffalo has never been domesticated due to its wild temperament. In a one-on-one -on -one battle between an adult lion and an adult buffalo, the buffalo almost always win. The explanation for this is that an adult lion weighs just 400 to 500 pounds on average, while an adult buffalo weights 1800 to 2500 pounds. The only way a lion can defeat an adult buffalo is to bite its throat or windpipe hard. Only when the buffalo is knocked off its feet will this be accomplished. The massive weight of an adult buffalo makes it almost impossible for a lion to knock it off its feet. Only a pride of lions can overwhelm an adult buffalo, and even then it takes time, and the buffalo typically manages to flee. Even if they are fleeing rather than fighting, buffalo are difficult to kill, and it usually takes a large lion pride to bring them down. That isn't even taking into account what the buffalo would do to lions. 
due mainly to its violent nature and super strength, even working as a group is difficult enough to bring down a buffalo. The buffalo's horns won't kill a lion outright, but they're so powerful that they can easily fling lions into the air or away from them. Any result would cause a significant amount of damage in addition to the wound caused by the horn. Even though there have been instances of single lions killing full-grown buffalo, most prides have failed to kill the adults. When a calf is attacked by three or four lions, the entire herd of buffalo always gathers and charges them. The lions were forced to flee. In certain cases, the majority of the lions were able to flee, but one unfortunate lion was cornered. After that, things go bad for the lion. It was surrounded by a herd of enraged male Cape Buffalo. Butting and kicking it while tossing it into the air. In such event, lions are sometimes killed. Lions are famous for being the king of the jungle. Their fearsome stature and reputation place them near the top of the food chain. In general, there are two known methods that lions employ to hunt their prey. The first one is by stalking them. This is the primary way that they hunt, which is to stay hidden for as long as possible while they approach their prey. This is another advantage that the lioness has over the male, in that their bodies are slimmer, allowing them to stay hidden in the grass longer. Lionesses also work together when they hunt by surrounding their prey as they stay hidden. Eventually, though, the prey will notice or hear the approaching lion, in which it will become a chase for them both. Once the lion catches up to the prey, they use their powerful claws to maul at their prey and crush their necks, leaving them paralyzed to be taken back to the lion's home. The other way that lions hunt is a little more straightforward. This is when the male lion also joins the hunt together with the lionesses. For the second method, there is no hiding or stalking involved, they go for the big prey and then corner it strategically. Once the prey is cornered, the lion comes in face to face to fight with the animal. In this scenario, the weight, brute strength and bravery of the lion is what will determine the outcome of the hunt. However, the line between bravery and stupidity can be thin, just as with humans. Sometimes that courage kind of bleeds into foolishness, because sometimes they will try to catch a rhinoceros or an elephant and they get killed. Please like this video and subscribe to BV Animal Documentary if you want more videos like this. Thanks for watching.